Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for popping in, if you're popping in right now. Oh, I forgot my water to dip my paint in. Hold on. just finished <clears throat> doing a order for a bear so I had to wash my cup <sighs> he turned out super cute there's his little bear Isn't he cute hi Jamie hi Virginia Okay, okay, let's see. So, um, I'm doing a Frankenstein. All right, let me fix my camera a little more. Turn you so that. Okay, Frankenstein and his bride. Um, for those of you that might have seen, I, ha I did a head. It's almost a 50 styles Frankenstein bride for a lady that she wanted to order. Um, but she kind of wanted cartoon style too, so I told her, well, I'm going to go ahead and make these cartoon style on flat faces in case you didn't like the other one. But I haven't heard back um, from her, so I don't even know if she's going to want any of them. So I figured whatever she don't want, I'll just put in my Halloween auction, which is going to be coming up um, in August. So I'm going to start advertising that Halloween auction. Um, also, I'm having a giveaway. And I have a pin post on my page. If you go to it, um, you have a chance to win three different items. You can choose which item that you want to win if you win. So uh, check that out. It's a pin post. And the giveaway winner will be announced, I think, on June 5th. So you want to make sure you get over there and uh, enter to win. Hi, Candy. Thanks for popping in. So I just was working on, I went ahead and did the hair first because, you know, that takes a while to dry. And I changed my camera view to my left. So I'm hoping that you guys would have a better view of what I do that way. I'm really looking forward to the Halloween auction. I didn't plan on having a lot of heads, but it's kind of turning out that way anyway. Hi, Anise. I think it's pronounced Anise. Hi, thanks for popping in. Yeah, these are faceless. They're totally flat. Um, no facial features on them. They're perfect for when I do cartoon style heads because you can just kind of do whatever you want with them. You know, you're not stuck with specific eyes, lip shape, you know, nose shape. So these are cute, just like I did. Um, I did this little bear for a customer on a flat head. I gotta finish down there. But um, I love them. Could do a lot with them. Okay, good. I pronounced it right. Anise. Good. I'm just going to do this final touch-ups here on the hair. And then I'll work on their face. I thought I'd do them both at the same time. And then once I get this done, I got another order and I do have to finish my groups, which... They have been patiently, oh dang it, patiently waiting for that. That was a tutorial that I fell behind on, which is hopefully it'll turn out cool. I, I, uh, 
I have a possible buyer for her already because she's a sculpted witch. I will give you a quick little peek. What I'll be working on. This. I don't like that. I have a lot of trouble with sculpting, but that's her. I just need to paint her and get that tutorial out. <laughs> Thank you, Anise. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give her her eyebrows really quick. These would look super cute. Um, let me just explain. Now you can cut these, and I do get, I've had a few orders where I cut the styrofoam, so they are flush on the back, just flat, and I put little hooks and people um, hang them. They hang them on the wall. So can you imagine how cute these would look for Halloween? Like if you have an entryway um, wall or something, hanging they would look super cute uh, you can also put them in a wreath if you put them in a wreath you don't have to cut the back however if your wreath is not really full um, you know it might be better to cut the back but also they would look super cute if you put floral arrangements on them or if you just displayed them like this just as they are they make for a really cute Halloween decorations. Just realized her hair is not that good in here. Dang it, I made this side a little too. Oh well, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay. Um, go ahead and move to Frankenstein. We'll set her over here. Just going to kind of go back and forth with these guys. So <clears throat> it's cartoon style. So he's just going to have a quirky little mouth. Let me know if it gets blurry on you. Sometimes you move her out of the way. Move him out of the way. Sometimes if I have something else it's trying to focus on, it will be blurry. Let me just open up this live in my phone too, because sometimes I don't get all the messages. Settings. One second. Simple nose, like a V shape.
Okay, good. Thank you, Anise. Yeah, sometimes I can keep trying to focus. And I'm not looking at my computer totally all the time, so I don't know. Hopefully, they're kind of even. Little lines. That's going to be his scar. See where the eyes aren't totally even. Hopefully, I can correct that. Once they're painted, pupils okay I'm gonna see about using eyeshadow first to make that kind of bridge on his forehead Instead of painting a line, let's see how it looks. Take my blender. Kind of blend it in. So it won't have such a defined line or shadowy. Okay. Now I'm going to take some white. in the very center. to give a little highlight around the black part so the outline will stand out more which I will go over that
Hi, Connie. How are you doing today? I haven't seen you for a while. I haven't been going live very much, though. <laughs> I've been so busy, but I thought it would be fun to make these two characters on live. Kind of standing out a little more than I wanted it to, but that's okay. Because we're going to use a metallic silver to give him some staples. Staples on his head. Lowe's Page, Tony Patak, and Vance. That might be a typo. I'm not sure what Connie said. giving him a bunch of staples. You can use just a couple staples if you decide to make one, but I'm using quite a few on there. I'll give that a chance to dry. And let's set him aside for a second. And let's go to her. Ron, oh, hi. My husband just wanted to say a quick hello. Got to get back to work. All right, husband, you get back to work. <laughs> hey, Bobby, my brother just popped on, Robert. All right, um, let's see. Let's draw her some eyeballs. Um, hmm. What kind? I don't know. Let's see. Let me try this first. If it looks terrible, then I will erase. Um, let's go up like that. Hmm. I'll try to do it on this side. Ooh, that's always hard. That's probably the hard part about doing a faceless head. You gotta be more symmetrical. On the other heads, you don't have to because they have the definition already in them. That does not look even. Maybe a little more. That. This eye's that eye's bigger. Make you a little more. I mean, down. I mean, your nose. Oh, okay, Connie. Awesome. Thank you. Ron slacking off again. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, he says he's working, but then I always see him commenting on Facebook. What the heck? Hmm. 
Um, let's see, let's bring her nose down a little bit. Um, Oh, that's not even. Not sure about these eyeballs. I might redo them. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I don't want her to totally look spooky, spooky. Give her typical cartoon lips. Then we'll give her, let's see, let's go from here. We'll come down and go around. She'll have a scar right there. Face looks kind of little for her head, but oh well. Oh well, we'll see. Maybe one right there. Let's work on her scars, her stitches. here just all very simple drawing nothing too fancy very simple get these lips on her lips will stand out a lot with the red I'm using Tuscan red it's my favorite red to use on heads I usually like to put, if I'm doing a colored head, I usually like to put white first and then the color I want. Like, for example, I would normally put white on the lips and then do the lips because it really makes them stand out more. But I didn't. Give this, give this a second to dry. Give it a few more coats. Let's go back to this guy while that's drying. Actually, hold on. Let me put her, I want to coat a base coat for her eyes before I start working on them. I'm going to go ahead and give her blue. So I'm going to use a metallic ice blue. God, I hope these eyes turn out because now that I'm painting I'm going to be stuck. Just get this base color in here so that when it comes time to do the eyes 
I won't have to wait for this to dry. While I'm at it one second, let me just put the white in the eye. Then once they're painted, then I can probably see better how uneven they might be and I could fix it. Oh, got white in there. Dang it. We got blue in there. All right, give that a second to dry. Do you think your eyes are a little too close together? But oh well. Okay, well, let's see how off I am with these eyeballs. He's gonna get some blue eyes too. base coat on here. Now we're going to put the white on his eye. Whoa, got way too much paint. So this is just the base of it. I'll go in and fix any going out of the lines and all that jazz afterwards. Okay, so just like her, we're going to let this dry. Come back over here to her. put the white line down the center of the scar. Trying to do it very lightly.
I'm going to try not to touch that black too much so I don't have to go over it. Just using regular white eyeshadow. Just to make it stand out more. And let's add some give her some rosy cheeks even though she's supposed to be kind of dead I'm using a high pigmented eyeshadow palette Give her some rosy cheeks. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Still looks kind of mean. I have to touch up some of that on her eyes. See if I can give her eyeshadow or something. I don't know. We'll see. All right, stitches now using the metallic shimmering silver by Deco Art. Yikes, too much on that one. Let that dry for a second. And I'm gonna take the white and I'm just gonna barely put a light line right in the very center. Just to get it to uh, stand out more. No, 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 no. That came on too strong. I'll let that dry. I was going to add a little red around there, but I'll wait till that's done. Drying and stuff. Okay, let's get back to the eyeballs. So, I'm not doing like natural eyes like I do on my other heads, so I'm not going to spend time adding lines and stuff in there. To give it more of a real uh, a real iris, I'm just gonna paint the color I want in there. One more coat here. I 
guys are not totally even, but he's Frankenstein, so oh well. Wow, kind of messed that up. His eyes are not totally even. I think I already said that. It's just bugging me. That's why I keep saying it. Okay. Give him a little highlight on his eyeballs. Being a cartoon, let's see. We'll just do dot there, dot there, just like that. Had a very slight, very, very slight red to his head there. Okay, let's scoot him over here. Let's get her. Oh, it's the wrong one. Put the white highlight on the stitches like I did his. Ew, if it's all the way dry yet, I don't know. Barely. Right in the very center it makes it stand out a lot more. <sighs> okay. of a curve on this not so pointy all right I'm gonna try to do her eyelids even 
even. to be kind of thick on top, look like the liner. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. Thank you. She turned out a little more grumpy face than I wanted her to. But, oh well. I was going to do eyeshadow, but I don't think I am. I'm gonna give her some pupils. I don't know, maybe even though they're a cartoon, how I said, like on him, I'm not giving him all the lines like I normally would for a regular iris. But you know what? I might try it on her. We'll see. We'll see. Whoa, went too thick there. Too thick. big on this side. Thank you, Shante. Thank you, thank you. Hello to Minnesota, Shante. That's far away. I'm in California, all the way on the West Coast. Let's go ahead and add just a few little white lines in here. See what it looks like. 
just a few. Kind of lighten up her eyeballs. Okay, I like that. I like that. Why my kids also not like you? Awesome, Shantae. You'll have to share some pics. You can feel free to post some pictures on my community um, section, or if you want to message me, I'd love to see them. A lot of people send me pictures of their heads they do, and I just love to see them. Just add a few little, even though it's cartoon style, we'll give her a little better of an iris than Frankie. Is our straight cartoon just a blank flat color okay now I'm gonna go back over the outline Hopefully they're even enough. Like I said, it's a little bit hard when you're doing the faceless styrofoam heads because you don't have the little cheaters to work with. You know, like, I just finished this one for a customer. If you're new to my page and you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, regular styrofoam heads have, you know, the nose, uh, protruding the lip shape and the bulging of the eyes and like a brow bone so you're able to kind of just go with that and work around it but um, on the faceless heads it's just completely flat so it can be a little tricky trying to get the eyes in the right spot and all that jazz okay so I was gonna put some more white in her eyes because I only put one coat. And I'm not going to bother doing the shadowing in the white of the eye and all that like I do on a regular head because these are supposed to be more cartoony. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put... <clears throat> There's been so many police officers today going by. Noisy. I'm going to go ahead and do a little shadowing with eyeshadow right underneath her eye. And just kind of run it that way. Maybe a touch up here. Now I'm going to take the white and I'm just going to kind of highlight underneath her eyebrow. One eyebrow does seem a little bit higher than the other. Okay. Her face is like so scrunched together. <laughs> I could have widened it more, but I didn't. Okay. Let's 
do another coat on those pretty lips. Dang it. Dang it. Go over that. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> She's got a squished face and he's got a bigger face. But oh well. Um, okay, let's see. Why am I? Let me get a little bit of water. Let me drink some first. Let's wipe up here where I've been touching. Okay, so now let's give her a collar, and then we'll get back to him. Oh wait, I wanted to do a little bit of red on her stitches too. Just a little. but oh well it's okay it's one thing when you're making head you know if you try doing this and you mess up most things you can correct no problem and uh just like how i put you know more of this red than i wanted it's okay it's all right still look cute right don't let it discourage you. A lot of people get discouraged sometimes and they make a mistake and don't give up. Most of the mistakes are fixable and it's all about fun. It's fun making these. And if you have mistakes, that's okay because they're handmade. You're, you know, you're painting them. Nothing is perfect. It makes her have different expressions at different angles. Oh, how cool. <laughs> Except for she looks really mad at her hubby there. <laughs> no matter what, huh? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to take a piece of felt, which you can buy any hobby store. And we'll give her, we'll give them both collars. So... I'm going to go, we'll make her collar a little bigger. We'll go about right there. So, I'm not going to do all that measuring jazz. I'm just going to cut. And then cut straight across. This bottom part will be along the edge, so when she's done, I can just go around the bottom and trim it if I need to. Take some stick pins, which all I have are yellow, but that's okay. I'll just paint them. And we'll give her this pretty collar. Come 
Come on, bride. After all these years making heads, you would think I'd have a secure stand to put them on. I still use my freaking easy bow maker to stand them on. <laughs> okay. Just like that. to paint that's the wrong one again I'm gonna paint that stick pen right there. Let me turn on my glue gun because she needs some jewelry because she's a lady. <clears throat> and then I'll put a stick pin on this side. Take the back and pinch it like that. Pinch it more off to the side. Actually, stay still. Pinch it, fold it over. Stick pin. Most of these heads do go in wreath, so even if it doesn't go in a wreath, you don't really got to worry about the back. I got to fix this. Hold on. It's driving me nuts. The back will still look nice. it there so that the collar won't come down any further. It's better if you already have the black stick pins, but if you don't, you just paint them so they don't stand out so much. Okay. Then let's take a couple of pearls. I saw your instructions on cutting foam heads. Very helpful thing. Oh, Anise, you are welcome. Um, again, I love um, how they look. If you just cut them right in half, hang them on a wall, they look super cute. And, you know, the ideas are so endless. Can you imagine in a children's room? Um, you can make some characters, or like in a nursery, you can do... Um, baby elephants, a duck, or whatever, and just hang them on the wall, so cute. Um, Halloween, you could have different characters hanging on the walls. Um, so many ideas. By just cutting them, hanging them up, looks super cool. Okay, so I just have some little round pearls. We're gonna put as necklaces for her, a necklace for her. Um, I feel that Frankie's a little bit boring over there. I don't know. Let's see. 
love working with my uh, sketch and wash pencils. You just wipe off the pencil, just damp cloth, paper towel, comes right off. Um, let me just kind of fix that shadow that I went over a little bit. Maybe add a little shadow there. Hopefully it's not still wet. You gotta be careful using eyeshadow on wet um, wet styrofoam. Don't go on. It doesn't go on good. Just adding a little shadow there to the mouth so it's not so plain looking. Okay, let's see if this is hot enough. Well, while that is getting a little bit hotter, let's go ahead and do his um, his collar. Let's see. Make his um, I think I'm going to make his like that. Give him more of like a V. Right there. Come around right there. Okay. So cut this really quick. If you haven't, I would super appreciate it if you would share the live. Or if you know anybody that um like stuff like this you know tag them in the comments okay i'm just going to cut it across okay any of the excess not a problem we'll just cut that off um after I get this on, so put a stick pin here, bring this around, and then I'll put a stick pin here. So you can't see that. This is pretty good. I don't need to fold it, but I'm going to stick a stick pin there. Paint around it. Okay. Then, just I rest my scissors on the bottom and I just go around and cut all the excess. Might have to go around twice but to get it even, you know. But for now you get the picture. You get the idea. All right, so now let's go back to her and give her some pearls. Got to be careful. Hot glue will just eat up the styrofoam. So, uh, yikes. Don't put it so much to where, yikes, it went the wrong way. Well, it's just going to glue onto her thingy. Don't put so much to where it's going to show that the styrofoam 
what just happened right there was not supposed to happen. Okay. That wasn't supposed to happen. It slipped right out of my fingers. Hopefully, because it did that, it doesn't mess up what I'm doing. Hope not. Kind of wanted to go straight across, but totally missed me. use the smaller pearls. I have some smaller ones. everywhere. Thank you, Marty. Okay, I've had some unfortunate flops with the necklace, but oh well. Probably could add another one up there, but I think I'm going to leave it. And, uh, Let me just scoop my stuff over so you can get a look. Now they do need to be sprayed. I will be spraying them to seal them. Especially when I use um, when I use eyeshadow and glitter. I spray them, but I do like to do a nice gloss on eyes and lips which I'll usually do before I spray them because it gives a nice wet look. So when I finish the live here, I'll just take them out back, spray them with a sealant. Oh, I forgot to give her highlight. Well, shoot. She needs highlight on her eyeball. Hold on. She's got to have a highlight on her eyeball. Also, I need to touch this up. So, we'll just do a little... Simple one, dot, 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 dot. Very simple. Okay. So I cannot triple thick her yet because of her eyes being wet. So I will do that later after she dries. Okay, I'm going to move my stuff over. Okay, and once again, um, if you are interested in my giveaway, I have a pinned post for you to enter. You have, and if you win, you have an option to choose three different prizes to choose from. Um, 
One of them is a $40 Amazon gift card. Uh, one of them is a tutorial made just for you on how I create a smooth surface on my styrofoam heads. And the other option, if you win, is um, a scarecrow styrofoam head. Uh, so go enter that. That's on my, that's a pin post. And also keep your eyes out. I'm going to be having a third annual Halloween extravaganza auction. And that's going to be coming up in August. It's a lot of fun. I have a lot of heads that will be going in the auction along with giveaways. Um, so if you haven't been to my last two Halloween extravaganza auctions, definitely check it out. I'll start advertising um, once my giveaway is over on June 5th. That's when the, the winner will be announced. I'll start advertising for my August auction. So, excuse me. There they are. Frankenstein and his bride of Frankenstein. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for sharing. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Where's my mouse? There you are.